Hey friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a little flip through um, of this embellished traveler's notebook that I made with the new Sweet Sunshine collection from Rosie Studios. Um, basically when I saw this collection, uh, the first thing I knew I wanted to make was this embellished notebook and so I've kind of been uh, pottering along on it for the last couple of weeks just here and there finishing up pages and I'm finally finished so I wanted to show you through it. Um, it's not super bulky, I've made this one kind of a little bit smaller so it's a little bit thinner uh, embellishment wise and it's got less pages in it so I know that I can very easily achieve filling it up which I haven't started yet this is kind of the base notebook um, I have just grabbed a bit of fabric to tie it together for now I don't know whether I'll pop it into a cover or not for now I just wanted to keep everything together so the front cover I created this kind of rainbow of um, pattern papers using all of my favorites from the collection. So it goes right through pinks, the oranges, the yellows, all the way to my favorite little blue daisy pattern down the bottom. And then the front cover is uh, embellished with these strawberry cut files that I used my Cricut for. Um, these will be, I don't know if they're available just yet in the Rosie Studio shop, if they are. Um, I will leave a link in the description box because they coordinate perfectly with this collection. I just added um, a little doily out of vellum. This is one of the Rosie Studios mini dies and then a couple of the puffy stickers on here as well. And then the actual strawberries themselves I stitched around the cut file and added a few little sequins and beads before I, well, not before, after I backed them with some of the pattern papers. There's another little one up here. And then just, I added an eyelet at the top and made myself a really cute little summery charm dangle here. All sorts of things on here, iced coffee, there's a little daisy, a gummy bear, oops, I can flip him over, a little gummy bear, a butterfly, a few other little bits and bobs just to coordinate nicely with the pattern papers. And so then on the inside, I will just, I'll just go through it page by page. There's all sorts of bits and pieces dangling out of here. I'll pick it up when I need to. So I grabbed a whole bunch of trims and fabrics to line some of the pages. This daisy one is so pretty, I love it, so that was why it went on the cover. But inside the front cover is just this little tuck pocket. I've put just a couple of journal cards in there for now and a little embellishment cluster down the bottom. So this is what I mean by a little bit flatter, so it's really just got a couple of layers of pattern paper. There is like a stitched um, kind of banner in behind there, but the rest is just die cuts from the die cut pack with a little puffy sticker, a um, couple of layers of fabric, and a lot of machine stitching in here. So there's lots of texture and lots of layers, but it isn't like, like super thick. <laughs> My experience with these notebooks is uh, obviously the thicker they start, the thicker they end up, and I want to add lots of photos and journaling into here, so I don't want it to be too super, super thick when I start. So on this page, I've kept it a little bit flatter. There is um, this banner at the top, which isn't adhered down just yet, so if I want to tuck a photo like up under here, I can slip it up under there if I want to, or maybe journaling. Uh, I can adhere that down and leave that f um, free if I want to be able to flip it up or not. Uh, and there's room probably for two three by four cards in there as well. So this one does have a little bit of fabric along the edge as well. And these are tiny little strawberry puffy stickers, which honestly are just the cutest thing ever. This page here, again, I've done this little kind of embellishment cluster. There is like a tiny bit of dimensional adhesive in behind there and behind this little milkshake. Uh, and the rest of the embellishment is kind of tucked under the fabric. So again, you could do the same thing with a photo. Kind of tuck it in under there or your journaling, however that works. Uh, and on this side, I just coordinated some of the same pattern paper as on this side but I hand stitched all of these little sequins on. That was 
a little bit of a mission. I did uh, wonder what I was doing once I started this, but I kind of love the sparkle and the shine. But because I've stitched them on, they're, they're pretty flat. So you get kind of that really nice mix of texture and shine without it being super bulked. Uh, there is just a little charm up the top here on a paper clip that I made. So obviously that can be removed. It just says fun with a little few beads in there. And then this page here I did mostly, um, there's a couple of die cuts. I think they're all die cuts. Two stickers top and bottom I think. And the rest are little die cut pieces which I haven't actually like attached all the way. They're just attached through the middle and then I added a tiny bit of hand stitching. A few little French knots and a puffy sticker at the bottom. And then because I, I kind of really liked the simplicity of this page, so I kept it really simple again on this side. There's just a tiny little embellishment cluster up here. It is actually adhered down, but I've just got a wee clip on there as well. And then for the trim on this side, I just used a whole bunch of fabric scraps, but again made them kind of rainbow order or ombre, I guess, from pink through to yellow. This side has a little pocket, so this has got a wee embellished tag in here, just stitched with another piece of coordinating ribbon. This is one of the kind of 3x4, I think it's slightly smaller than 3x4, nope they're exactly 3x4 uh, out of the, um, the die cut pack, so it's not actually one of the 3x4 library cards, it's from the die cut pack. So there's a wee tuck pocket in there you could add journaling to and I've made a much larger pocket on this side so I can tuck in either like ephemera or extra photos or something like that so I can still adhere a photo onto this side uh, but I've got room to add any little extras that I want to. The next page, I loved these kind of like the citrus theme in here. So I had this blue and orange spread. I added a whole bunch of bits and pieces. There's not really, again, it's just this tiny little bit of like dimensional adhesive. Uh, and the rest of the texture just comes from puffy stickers and kind of just roughing up the edges of some of the die cuts. Uh, so this 3x4 card is actually adhered down onto the background. So you could add a title or journaling if you were going to hand write. This card, however, is just tucked in here underneath the paper clip, so I can definitely pull that out and add extra bits and pieces on here, uh, adhere down photos onto the page, or hand write my journaling onto the back. This side does, doesn't actually stick off the edge of the page, but it has a little bit of kind of uh, trim on there as well, just this tiny little daisy trim. Can't go past a sequin pocket, so there had to be a little sequin shaker in here. This is a sort of custom sequin mix that I made to coordinate with this collection. Kind of like having the paper clip on here because it does hold some of the sequins at the top, but otherwise they kind of fall down a little bit. Um, I'm not that worried. Again, I made the notebook specifically a little bit thinner so that I don't have to worry about um, all the kind of bulk of these sequins at the bottom. And this side of the page, again, super simple to kind of contrast with the flashiness of that side. I added some of those really cute little stamp die cuts that I love and then just hand stitched around the outside of them with embroidery floss. So because I've got a few little bits of blue going on here, I added some of this blue tassel trim onto this side, which coordinates nicely with this paper as well. This is the last page in the notebook. I kept this side of it pretty simple, just a few stickers at the top and then the back cover or the back inside cover has another little tuck spot for popping in photos or journaling and just a really cute little um, embellishment cluster down the bottom with another tiny little uh, paper clip with another little charm on the back. So my back cover is exactly the same as my front except I did add this wee sticker do more of what makes you happy because boy did making this notebook make me happy. Uh, I love making these notebooks, they're so fun. I love filling them up and I'm excited to kind of go back through my summer photos um, and pop in some of the fun things that we did over the summer months. Hey thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this quick flip through of my notebook. Uh, I do have a tutorial for these notebooks over on my Patreon page, so if that's something that interests you, I will leave the link in the description box as well, as well as the link to the Sweet Sunshine collection from Rosie Studios, because you can tell, I, I'm totally in love with this collection. Hey, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys again really soon.
Bye.